Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again, and today we have in front of us from the German branch, like Eldrador Creatures, this guy, which doesn't have a name in the packaging, and I'm just realizing that, and I don't even know how I'm gonna title this video. Uh, well, I'll have to Google it before I do, because really it has no information about the name of this in the box. But hey, it shows you what it comes with, the actual like mecha, the actual like pilot lord thing, it's shooter, three, uh, three, four gems in these four different colors, is the elements like fire, earth, ice, and I think this is like stone or something like that, these like claws in that uh, same colors and like projectiles, some of the figures from the line, some like, uh, I don't know, like example images, um, QR code, I haven't scanned that, I won't do that in the video. More images, whatever, uh, get there to the website and check the lore, whatever, uh, legal stuff. Let's just take the, this guy out of the box and see how good it actually is. And there you have the Schleich Eldrador creatures, I'll call this Overlord, just because I want to. Uh, again, I'll check the actual name for the title of the video. Um, out of the packaging with everything it comes with, and yeah, first of all you have this character, that's why I decided to call it Overlord, it has like a crown, it looks, it's cast in black plastic, it looks evil or something like that, and yeah, to me it says Overlord. Um, yeah, it's just a chunk of plastic, it's like a shadowy character I don't know nothing about. It has two peg holes, we'll check that in a moment. And yeah, just a solid chunk of plastic, but I like the, the design of it, you know, the head sculpt is interesting. It also comes with a spring-loaded attachment for the arm, we'll get check that in a moment. And it comes with four projectiles, which have if I'm right, kind of a soft tip here with a co which uh, with the four elements, you know, like fire, ice, earth, and thunder or whatever. I don't even remember which were all the elements here, but uh, you have it there or air maybe. Yeah, you know what I mean. And this is uh, it has also these like spikes in translucent plastic, which look very nice. Again, this is I have to check that is this like lightning or something like that. I'm guessing this is the earth or stone element, ice again, and of course, well, and of course, fire, and it's the most distinct one. Well, fire and ice are like very clear what they are, they are and these two are both like, yeah, a bit less. Uh, decisive. It also comes with like an emblem of each of the element for the chest. You can see where it goes from there. Um, I think the the green and the red one are the better ones because they are more like saturated. These other two are just a bit like, you know, they don't really stand out enough from that gray color. The red one is very, it kind of go, goes along with the weathering of the figure, it looks a bit like rusty, you know. And the green one is also like, it, it's nice, but I think I'll just put the red one, it's the one that appeals me the most, or the, the most like, yeah, with the most contrast, you know. There's a figure, it's a chunk of plastic, it has a little bit of articulation, the arms can go all the way around. This arm is just stiff, but it has this claw that can turn around and it has this uh, spring-loaded like grip. So it's really like a claw and it's very nice. Let's pick this figure here I have from previous waves. You can, you know, it holds it and it will, yeah, it has some play value. This was like the chase figure of, I think, wave one from the uh, line. I don't know if these products are also in the States or whatever, I know them here from Germany and I was curious and that's why I'm doing this video of an actual toy, you know, not like action figure or collectible, this is really 
But I mean, it has more paint than many Marvel Legends or Hasbro products, you know? Um, which is a bit like, yeah, I mean, it's a simple thing, you know? But it's super heavy, the plastic is in some parts, it's like really solid, uh, massive plastic. This arm can also go all the way around, you can see the peg holes here on the shoulder armor. Well, armor, it's all like a mecha, you know? You can see here in the back, this piece is already attached, but in the instructions that I haven't shown you yet, it told you that you have to attach it, but it came already attached. This arm has a 90 degree arm swivel, which A, is better than not having it, so you can have it just like straight, or, yeah, you can punch or shoot with the actual thing we are going to show in a moment. And it has also that thing, like a grip, so I guess you could keep him some weapon. From the other like mechas from the line you could add a sword, a mace, a hammer, whatever they had. But I, this, is, this is the only one I have and I don't know if I'll ever get the others. Uh, the chest can open and I guess you can store some stuff in there. Always good to have. It has a waist swivel, can go all the way around. It was a bit stiff at the beginning, nothing for the hips, I mean it's just a solid chunk of plastic, nothing at the knees, nothing nowhere, even if it's suggested it, it doesn't move. And the feet are like separate pieces but they don't actually move, they just wiggle a little bit. But yeah, now the chest plates again, this is the one I want to place there is the most saturated one then you can open the chest and just store the rest of them in there i don't know if i'm doing it right yeah it just fits there i hope i'm not crushing anything so there you have it all the pieces are stored inside there then you can attach these things on the shoulder pa uh, the shoulder armor you know you just put them there that's how it looks like with all the shoulder spikes attached and I use I went the symmetry way because yeah my need for symmetry whatever then you have this uh, arm blaster cannon which first of all here you have a just for ex as an example you have a rocket here you have this guy let's see what happens when I shoot at it yeah Missed that one. <laughs> oh god, of course I was gonna miss that one. There you have it, they pack a punch. And there you have them having a little dispute on who's gonna ride the mecha. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, I'm glad I got this thing. It's something different, of course, it's like a toy for little children but i am sure there's some adults collecting this as well um but yeah i mean you can actually you can actually maneuver the claws without even without actually opening them um but yeah it's uh again something different i bought this with a little discount i was curious since i saw this online and i was like if i ever see this with a discount i'll get it just to see how these things actually are and this, there's another version, like in black with purple and all of that, like the shadow version of this. And I think I'll get this, that as well when it gets its due discount. And I don't know. I mean, if you're into these kind of things, I can only recommend. Now, for size comparisons, there you have it next to a vintage collection, Grogu and a Dark Trooper. Next to the Black Series Wicked and a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. And next to a 4-inch scale Cobra Commander and a Transformers Legacy Evolution Tarn. And that's it for this review. Again, this is not your typical fully articulated figure. It's just a different product I was personally curious about. And I decided to get it and, you know, to also present it in the channel. Because if I'm gonna open a toy or a figure, I'll make a video, even if it's if it's old or new, whatever. That's what we do here, and I hope you can enjoy it. Again, if you can get this, if you're interesting, uh, if you're interested in getting this figure, uh, I suggest you do you do it with a discount because because the full retail price I think is a bit steep. It's just a cool little different type of figure. 
So please leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, and all of that good stuff. Take care, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.